70s, the height of the hippie era. Bell bottoms, feathered hair, lava lamps, anti-war protests, and a rising interest in the environment. Good evening. A unique day in American history is ending, a day set aside for a nationwide outpouring of mankind seeking its own survival, Earth Day. This old CBS recording from April 22, 1970 recaps the world's first Earth Day. Although it was practiced for years before, this was the day where the concept of recycling became a mainstream idea. 42 years later, recycling's considered the norm. We probably should have did it 30, 40 years ago. It's good for the environment, you know? Something you're taught when you're kids, reduce, reuse, recycle. It makes sense, right? So we must all be doing it, right? Sophie Roberg from Island Return It says that's not the case. It's hard for people who don't get it. Some people say it's a chore. Recycling is a chore. It's, it takes a lot of time. It takes, uh, it's just complicated for some people, but it's not. Although Sophie and her co-workers noticed tons of people coming to their five island-wide locations, they know there's a bigger demographic out there that opts for the easy way out. Uh, that's the main challenge for all the recycling facilities in all BC. It's people are lazy, people don't care. People are ambivalent towards change. They don't like to start new progresses. They want to just keep doing what they're doing. But recycling is something that everybody has to do. It's it's almost escapable at this point. Yeah, 1025. Thank you very much. Have you there? This woman says her biggest issue with recycling is finding a place to store it. Because you don't want to just run over with one thing, so you, you put a couple of things here and then in the styrofoam there and the cardboard there, and before you know it, it's, it's kind of multiplied. Others may struggle with the travel involved with recycling, dropping cans off at one place, milk cartons at another, and electronics on the other side of town. But many facilities like Island Return It are grouping their programs together to offer one easy drop-off center. Brand maker, lots of fancy coffee machine that lasts only one year. Oh, at least it gets recycled, right? It's just to change those mentalities that have been in their mind for like, I don't know, 20, 30 years. It's okay. Here we're in 2012, here's our like new programs, here's what the future is going to look like and we're here to help you but now they have to like make the, you know, the mental changes in their mind. And a little fun fact, part of the precious metals in these computers and the other electronics in the recycling program were used to make the medals in the 2010 Winter Olympic Games in Vancouver. A little bling for your outdated PCs, not a bad trade-off if you ask me. This is kind of an incentive as well uh, to be a part of those stewardship to say there's possibilities, there's programs, please recycle. Despite recycling's challenges, Sophie hopes people will realize the benefits outweigh any hindrances. A little effort can make a huge difference in saving our planet. In Victoria, I'm Jen Moranitz for The Daily.